YouTubers, it's Sam again, and today I'm going to show you how to get CXMB themes on your PSP, which are basically, um, they're a lot different than normal themes, PSP themes, and to do this, you do need custom firmware, which is a hacked PSP. So, if you don't have that, then this video is pointless, unless you have custom firmware. Okay, so to show you what I mean, they're basically themes that are more like this. See, like, they're different. Like, they instead of having just, like, a regular cross-media bar, you can get all kinds of different themes. Okay, so today, I'm going to show you how to get this one thing on that has a bunch of the themes on it. Okay, so basically, the first thing you want to do is look in the video description. The video description is on your right over there. And click on the first link in the video description. It'll take you to a page that looks like this. Just type in the code, right? And so it's a mega upload page. All you do is type in the code in lowercase letters and click download file. And then click, when you're on the next page, just click regular download and then download it to your desktop. So once you do that, once you download it, just uh, get off your internet. And you should get this. Uh, just right click and click extract here and then the files will be extracted. The next thing you want to do is get your PSP and plug it into USB mode. Okay, so once it's on USB mode, this little window should pop up and then you click open folders to view files and then all you do is get, okay, first you want to get the C plugins folder and just drag it onto the root of your memory stick. Or, if you already have a C plugins folder, simply open up the C plugins folder, then open up the C plugins folder, and then you drag the VSH folder into the C plugins folder. But if you already have a VSH, VS, VSH document too, you just open it up, and then you open up the other one, and then you copy and then paste it into the VSH that's in your PSP thing. Okay. So basically, you should have a C plugins folder. Okay, so on your PSP, you should have a C plugins folder that has a VSH text in it that s says the that that says MSO CXMB CXMB.PRX or something like that. Okay. So then once you've done that, go back on the root of your memory stick and then drag, get the CXMB folder and drag it onto the root of your memory stick. Okay, so once you've done that, I already did that too, so I'm not going to do that. And then once you've done that, open up the PSP folder and then open up the PSP folder also. And then you open up the theme folder on the thing that you downloaded and then it'll have all the themes in it and then you drag all the themes into the theme folder of your PSP so that's on the PSP you drag all the themes into the theme folder of your PSP so once you've done that I already did that too so I'm not going to do it because I already did it so once you've done that exit out of everything and uh, go back on your PSP and get off USB mode. Now, what you're going to do next, basically, is uh, completely turn off your PSP. You can unplug your USB cord. Okay, so I unplugged it. Okay. So, completely turn off your PSP. All you do is hold it down for like two seconds. And it'll completely turn off. So, hold it down for about three seconds or so. And then, when you turn it back on, hold down the R button. Okay, so you hold down the R button, and the VSH menu should come up. So the next thing you do, is you go down to Plugins. Okay, so you go down to Plugins, and then the one that says CXMB.PRX, you press X on it to enable it. And that'll enable it. 
Okay, so make sure where it says cxmb.prx, you press X and, it's, and then it says enabled. Okay, so then you go back and then you exit off. And your your PSP will turn back on. And then all you do is go to settings and then go to a theme. Go to where it says theme. And uh, by the way, this 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 theme that you see right now, it won't already be on your PSP. It'll just have a regular theme until you get the theme on. So basically, when you go on settings and then uh, system theme settings or whatever, then you click uh, theme and then you pick the theme you want. So there's a bunch of them, and you just pick the one you want, and your PSP will turn off and then it'll turn back on automatically, and then you'll have the custom the CXMB theme. So, I hope that helped. Um, that's basically how you get CXMB themes on your PSP. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And I just want to say, when you're commenting on, on, the video, on any of my videos, please do not use any foul language. Because if you do, I'll remove your comment and I will block you out. So, please don't use any foul language and don't even joke about it. It's, it's not funny, and I'll just remove it, and I'll block you out. So, yeah. Okay, well, thanks for watching, YouTubers. Please subscribe, and have a nice day.